Hello, Sagittarius viewers. Um, I'm going to look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. The reading I did a couple weeks ago, I was getting that too much time has gone by with between you and someone else. And so they're just kind of stalking your social media account right now, waiting for some sort of sign, some sort of opening from you. Uh, because they want to talk to you, but they just, they don't, they feel awkward and they're not really sure what to say to you. So they're kind of stuck right now. The readings I've done before that, um, I've had this continued story I've been doing for Sagittarius, the, the Sagittarius viewers that are drawn to my channel. I keep getting the energy that your person has a lot of commitment issues and it's, it's been a continuous story for the, you know, probably seven, eight months at least at this point where someone's been working through those commitment issues and they're really deep rooted in their um, childhoods. So, and there, are, you know, it's, it's a process. It's kind of a roller coaster up and down, but I feel like they've definitely gotten a lot better. They're, they're more open than they were before. Um, and right now they're sort of getting to that point where they're, I mean, they're not the same person they were a year ago, but, but they're not, they haven't completely healed these issues. These are very deep rooted commitment issues that they have, but they have been working on them. You know, they know that the, they know the kind of person they wanted to be. And I feel like they just, they went down their own path and I feel like they had to. I feel like you wanted them to learn these lessons with you or you wanted to help them through this energy, but I feel like they had to go down their own path and experience these things for themselves. They, they had to learn their lessons the hard way. So they've matured quite a bit. Um, they're not 100% ready yet, but they're they're starting to really want to come back around. So let's see what the cards have to say about this connection. Vision. Yeah, it could be seeing you in their dreams, having this like telepathic connection, the warrior. So that's a really good energy because it's like this person could be male or female. But this person is, you know, the warrior is is about someone who's who's brave, who's honorable, who's strong, who's stable, mature, wise, you know, think of like a warrior spirit, someone who fights for what they want, you know, and this, this person is embodying that energy. They, they want you, they know that they want you now. And this is almost like the opposite energy that they used to be in where I think before they were kind of immature, kind of indecisive, sort of just lost. And you probably thought you probably took some of that energy personally because you didn't understand what was going on in their lives, but it was really just their own insecurities and their own fears that they were projecting onto you. So, you know, they, they had to, they had to go down a separate path for a while. I feel like your paths are intertwined, but it's kind of like you had to separate and go down these different paths for a while before they could come back to you because they just, I mean, this person is very stubborn. So I just feel like they had to learn their lessons the hard way. They had to see things for themselves. They had to go out and experience the world and become a more mature person. Um, they might have gone through some really rough things like karmic relationships. Maybe um, maybe they left you for someone else and it's like you, you kind of warned them about this person. You warned them this person was toxic, but they didn't listen and now it's blowing up in their face. Or maybe you tried to, it could be a number of things, but maybe you tried to get them to stand up to toxic family members and they didn't want to do that, but you know, now they're, now they're having to cut ties with these family or friends anyway. You know, they, they wanted to be stubborn, whatever the situation was, it's like they, there was something they just wanted to be stubborn about. They wanted to do things their own way. They, they had to do things the hard way. And, um, but now they're, they're, they're understanding what you were trying to say or what you were trying to t help them with, what you were trying to tell them, you know, that healing energy you were trying to bring into their lives. They, they understand that now they didn't understand it before, but they're more mature now. So they're looking at things from a different perspective. I feel like they used to project their own insecurities and fears and negativity onto you. And they're kind of becoming conscious of that, of that they were doing that they're, they're realizing that they weren't really very fair to you in the past. So so yeah, you know, I think things had to happen the way they, they did. As harsh as it was, I think that it just, it had to happen that way. Because it's like you wanted to maybe take care of them and you wanted to kind of go easy on them or you wanted to, I don't know if it was like miscommunication or wanting to go easy on them or what it was, but it's like they just weren't able to learn their lessons with you. You know what I mean? They just, they had to do it their way. But um I feel like they've had a lot of good and bad experiences the past year that have been really life-changing. 
Like I feel like a lot of major energy shifts for them. Like they've, I mean, they're in the spiritual energy. So it's like they've seen like the other side of the world. They've seen, you know, like I feel like it's like, it's like the past year they've had the best moment of their life and the worst moment of their life and all in the same year, you know, like maybe they've like traveled or done some things that they just couldn't do where they were at. They had to break out of stagnant energy and they just did that in a very chaotic way that was maybe hard to understand at the time. And I feel like, I feel like they're still struggling with those commitment issues and those fears that they have, but it's not nearly as bad because I feel like whatever, whatever path they went down, it's been very life changing for them. It's really opened their, their eyes a lot. So I mean, I also feel like they've, they've had some bad things, like some kind of rude awakenings the past year or so. Like they've just sort of just, just, they have a new perspective. They're just, they're looking at life in a different way and they're looking at their connection with you in a different way. So, I mean, those, those commitment issues are, are deep rooted, but I feel like they're in this spiritual sort of just flowing, just life changing energy, um, that they've, they've sort of been in and out of this energy for the past year, I feel, but it's getting stronger and stronger right now. And I feel like that energy is just, it's changed them. It's, it's, they're more mature. They're not the same person they were before. You know, they, they went through, probably went through like a dark night of the soul or something for some of them. Like they, cause they, they get a lot of like really major life changing energy. So, so yeah, they've been really working on those commitment issues. I feel like, Again, they're deep rooted, so it's not like they're gonna go away overnight, but they're they're definitely a lot further along than they were before. And they're in this warrior energy now. So I feel like with the vision card here, I feel like they're maybe having dreams about you or like visions or like telepathically communicating with you. There's a lot of that energy I'm getting in my readings. I think it's the the planetary alignments right now. Um and so I, I feel like I feel like this this is just spiritual energy too. This is like, you know, opening their heart chakra, just being more open-minded, being less stubborn, not having to be right all the time, just, you know, considering other people's perspectives for a change, not being so insecure and guarded and projecting projecting their negativity and their insecurities onto others, but just taking a step back and kind of just letting things flow and just sort of, they're trying to live in the moment more. And I think that's helping them a lot. So this psychic sort of spiritual energy and your spiritual and psychic connection to each other is putting them in this warrior energy where it's like they want to fight for you finally. They they finally want to fight for you. They finally are, are viewing things differently. They're finally understanding things differently. In the past, they haven't really been honest with you about how they felt. I think they always tried to, you know, they deceived you about how they felt. I think that they tried to hide their feelings. I think they lied about their feelings. I think they didn't really know how to be honest, so they just sort of ran. We got some in reversed. Yeah, I think they didn't know how to be honest about their feelings before, so they just sort of ran from the connection. But we have change coming. We have we have them in the warrior energy, so yeah. I feel like they've been working on their self-worth, their insecurities, their... Mm -hmm. Yep. You could be a fire sign, too. Well, I just feel like, I feel fire energy. Like they're working, they might have maybe not been loyal to people in the past. Like maybe they were like a little bit of a player or they kind of played hard to get or they played games or just were not emotionally available. And now they're working on being loyal and stable. Like they want loyalty. They want family. They want home, which are things that they kind of wanted before, but it was like only a small part of them wanted that. They didn't feel like they could ever have that or they just didn't feel like that would some be something that was like plausible for them. Like they just didn't feel like that would work out for them. Um, it, or it's like they sabotaged it, but now they're really thinking about it and being honest with themselves. And it's like, they actually do want that home. They are more family oriented than they seem to be. And, um, I'm going to pull some more cards. If this is resonating and you want a private reading, my email is below in the description um, section. So just send me an email. It is dragon enchantress at AOL.com. And again, that's in the description below. So you can just copy and paste the email address. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, I feel like you're very intuitive and it helped them on their path. It helped them on their path because their intuition was blocked for a long time, but it's like... Hmm. High Priestess of Spirit, then Movement Reverse, and then High Priestess of Air. You could be an air sign, too. You could be helping them, you know, come forward through this energy. But it's like movement, communication. It's like they were stagnant, and then they started listening to their intuition, and now it's like they're coming out of that energy of stagnation. Something was forbidden. Tell me about the forbidden card. Yeah, they felt like a new start was forbidden to them. Like, that would just wasn't something they could have in their life. You know what I mean? Like, they just... Like, they had control issues. They couldn't let anything go. They felt like they just, they couldn't, you know what I mean? Like, they just couldn't have happiness, or they couldn't do this. They couldn't do that. You know, relationships aren't for them. They don't work for them. Relationships never work out. Just all these strange views, and they were so stubborn and so stuck on their views. But now they're giving into the energy of love. Now they're, they're embracing the energy of love. They're getting out of that stubborn energy. And again, this is, you, you guys have been, you guys that have been with me for a while, like for, you know, the past six, seven months or so, like, you know, this story has been continued onward. Um, like this has been consistent energy that they've been working on themselves more and more. And so it's a really good sign that they're finally at that point. Like, they felt like they didn't belong anywhere. And I feel like that cycle of just feeling like they can't have a home, like they can't have a family, like they can't belong anywhere. I feel like that cycle is, like, ending and they're finally listening to other people. They're listening to you. They're listening to the people around them. They're, they're um, you know, they're, they're really thinking about what they want. So they're in a very, um, you know, it's like they had a hard time taking oaths before, but it's like now they're making these, it's like they have hope, they want to change, you know, and they are changing. They are more, it's, it's again, it's a process, but they're definitely more mature and more stable than they were before. And again, I feel like, I feel like a lot of them probably went through a dark night of the soul because I feel like a very spiritual energy. You know, like when you go through like those dark nights of the soul where it's like everything's chaos, everything's just dramatic, it's chaotic, there's tower moment after tower moment. But then you have that breakthrough and it's like everything just feels like healing and clear and it's like you just want to travel and explore the world and love everybody. It's like you just feel this like high vibrational energy. It's like very um, like spiritual energy, you know, like when you're listening to like certain songs that trigger that emotion in you, it's like it just takes you to this higher place. And that's kind of the energy that I feel them in now. It's like they're wanting to make amends, not just with you, but with other people in their life that they've wronged just by not listening, by being stubborn, by being controlling. Like they want to make amends with like um, friends, family, uh, with you. You know, they want to get in this energy of love. They want to let things flow more naturally. I think they've just been so stubborn in the past. Yeah, they just gave into like lusty kind of energy in the past for fulfillment. Yeah probably just like one night stands or like lust or whatever because it's like that was they pretended like that was love you know but now it's like they want real love they want real commitment they want real like a real family real happiness you know what I mean like they don't want to it's like they've changed they've just I, I get the sense that they've just really changed a lot and they're um they're willing to fight more, like more for you and more for, just for everything in their life. It's just kind of they're, they're, they have this new perspective where they're willing to, um, you know, they're, they're working past their mental instabilities. And the divine is helping them with this too. Their, their spirit guides are helping them with this. It's mental instability. And then we have divine intervention synchronicity. So it's like, they're, they're getting, maybe they're getting some mental help. Some of them might be getting some counseling or something. Yeah, the divine is, is the synchronicity, the spirit, the spiritual energy. It's like, they're, I feel like they're aware of their spirit guides now. Like, I don't know if they talk to them, but I feel like they're just aware of the spiritual nature of the universe. Like, I don't know if they got like a tarot reading about you or if something happened, like they, 
they started researching soulmates or twin flames and it's like some sort of something changed like some sort of perspective changed happened and now they're more open to like the spiritual nature of the world like they, they're believing in like tarot and astrology and those kind of things now that maybe they weren't as open to those things before but now they are and now they're really listening and understanding like they're listening to understand they're not listening just to talk like they used to do in the past you know they have this new perspective and it says true love and abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open-mindedness your faith and your bravery you know they've really gone through a drastic perspective shift there might be some hesitation if you guys haven't talked in a while because they want to present this offer of loyalty and stability but they don't know if you would believe them because they were a different person when you guys last talked or when you guys used to hang out and so they don't really know if you would really believe this offer of loyalty and stability they don't know if you would if you would see them as a joke or if you would actually take this seriously so they have kind of mixed feelings they are feeling isolated and alone and kind of empty they're not really sure what to do next I feel like there was some miscommunication between you guys or some anger between you guys in the past. Sorry. Yeah, but they want to come through with a love offer, with commitment. They do. They're just not sure if you would accept it. They're kind of feeling alone, but it's like they did it to themselves. They're, they realize there is miscommunication. They realize that they might have spoken out of line or that maybe they just, there was some, something about the communication between you guys that they didn't like or something that happened between you guys that kind of upset them. But, um, but yeah, they're wanting to come forward with this love offer. They're just not sure if you would still accept that. You're not, they're not sure if you would take them back after everything. I feel like, I mean, they've worked on themselves a lot this past year. I mean, they still have more work to do. There's, they still have that instability and that fear, but I feel like they're actually at a really good place. They're at a very spiritual place right now. They're at, they're way more open-minded than they used to be. They're way more, um, I mean, you guys probably understand that spiritual energy when it's like you just, it's like this renewed love of life. Like everything is just an adventure to you. Like everything is just you know, new and exciting and you want to just tell everyone you love them and you want to explore the world and you want to, um, like just change your life. Like he's in, like he or she's in that very like inspired energy where it's like, they just, they want to, they want to conquer the world right now, you know? And so they're really making an effort. And if they stay in this energy, it's a really good sign. I don't know where they're going to be in a couple weeks. You know, if you want to subscribe to me, we can continue on with this story. And um, like I said, if you want me to look deeper into your situation, my email address is in the description box below. Just send me an email and I'll let you know what's going on. But um, but yeah, they're in this very spiritual, um, just kind of flowing energy where it's like they just want to live their best life. And they're, they're wanting to come, they're feeling a lot of regret and a lot of pain and guilt for the people that they've wronged. And there's, there's a lot of people, it's not just you, whatever they did to you, like if they ghosted you or they got angry at you or they snapped or they said some things they didn't mean, they've done that to multiple people. They have blamed people for their problems, for their insecurities, for their fears. And I feel like the miscommunication between you guys is it's like, you guys were on the same page, but you weren't understanding each other. And I feel like with the miscommunication, it's like you would say something just to defend yourself or just to explain yourself and they would take it as like a personal attack or take it as like, like their insecurities would speak for them. You know what I mean? And it's like, they would think that you were attacking or that you were saying they weren't good enough when really you were just, you weren't trying to say that at all. And now they're recognizing that they're recognizing how their insecurities and fears and commitment issues played a role in how they communicate with others and how they interpret what other people are saying. And so now they're really thinking back and they're like, wow, maybe, maybe he or she didn't mean that. Maybe I took that the wrong way. They're, they're recognizing that there was some miscommunication and some anger that didn't need to be there. Um, maybe they were like hurt by something you said or did, and you didn't even know that they were hurt by it, but they just, they just interpreted something you said the wrong way. And they just kind of internalized it and just didn't say anything and just kind of distance themselves. Like they don't, you know what I mean? Like this person is very, has, was very stubborn, but, but again, they're in a very spiritual energy now. So it's like, I feel like as long as they stay in this energy and they keep putting all this energy into, um, changing their life and being a better person, then I think there is, you know, there's, there's a lot of good energy here. 
There's a lot of good energy here if they just keep on that path. And yeah, they're wanting to make a love offer. They're just, they're not sure what you would say. They're not sure, yeah, because they know that you probably have multiple options by now too. You probably, if they've, if you've gone a while without talking, they know that they're, you're probably not. There's probably more than one person in your life, or at least in their mind, they're probably talking to more than one person. So they're trying to manifest you back and trying to put the intention in. And um, this person is more aware of magic and intuition now than they were before. So they're trying to put that intention in, and they want to. Um, yeah, dreams, visions, telepathic communication. So they're aware of this stuff now. They're aware consciously of the psychic connection between you guys, I feel. They're wanting to make this move, but again, they're just kind of like, like, would this person take me back? Would this, you know, there's still that fear of commitment, that fear of, of loss, of pain. Um, this is a soulmate, a very deep past life connection. It's been a power struggle in the past, but they're, they're, quickly coming out of that and they're in this more humble energy where they're like you know what I want to listen I want to I want to listen I want to have faith I want to open my mind up I want to hear this person out I don't want to just assume things you know so yeah we have passion romance you know something you've been waiting hoping praying for coming in so you might have new love coming in as well as this this other person too um but yeah, it's good energy. It's good energy. That I just feel a lot of regret from them, a lot of regret and pain and really wanting to apologize, but not sure how, not sure if you would take them back, not sure what to say. They just really want to make amends. But again, it's like a collective energy where they're just wanting to apologize to several people in their lives for, for how they acted before. Like they were so childish before and they feel more mature now and they just, they want to um, keep up with these changes. So, so yeah, I hope this resonates. Um, my email is below for private readings. Uh, any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. It really adds up quickly. My PayPal link is right below. And um, let's see. Yeah, and subscribe if this resonates. Thank you.